Yo, so Colorado State and Deion Sanders have lost up to this point 52 recruits in the transfer portal that are getting away from Colorado. And we're going to get into it and let you know. if Is this a big deal for Deion Sanders? Is, is, it, is it crumbling? What's happening? Everybody's wondering, why are they leaving? A lot of people are saying, I've seen it everywhere. People stating, oh, these kids, they're finally realizing that Coach Prime, he's all about himself. He's a narcissist. He's all about him. He's this, he's that, blah, 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 blah. You get the point. You know what people are saying about him. But check this out. Coach Prime has just recently exposed the truth about why all these players are leaving. That was courtesy of my man, Matt B. Great. And before we get to what Deion Sanders had to say about it, we're going to play my man Rico Knows on TikTok about why this is happening. His name's Rico Knows on TikTok. So basically, he's talking about how everybody's saying, oh, yeah, this was brutal. It was a terrible day. And he's giving his take. All right. Now, Matt, roll clap. Today was a shaky day for Deion Sanders in Colorado football. Yesterday, Montana Lamontius only got one minute. I don't follow this channel at all, but nah. Not a shaky day for Colorado. Not a shaky 48 hours. A very calculated 48 hours. If you count Chance Maine when he departed mid-spring, there are 29 Colorado players in the portal right now. 29 from the spring section, and that's quite all right. Losing a recruit? Doesn't matter. People lose recruits all off season. Recruiting websites talk about it for months and months, if not years. Guys flip, top six, top eight. I don't give a None of that has any bearing on what's going to happen on the field. Half those recruits sign, show up, they're added depth, and they hit the transfer portal after one or two years. If you're looking at the two deep, Colorado has lost about five guys from the current two deep. They're all very replaceable. But of the 39 guys that have left at 1-11 team, not a single one of them impacts the win total or the projected win total of next season. And now Coach Prime just needs a bunch of scholarships available for his post high school graduate tryouts and for JUCOs and transfer portal players. So some of what he was explaining was that most of these players that are leaving are depth players. They're not the starters. They're not the really players that it met, that really matter. They're leaving because they probably aren't going to play. They probably aren't going to start. They, they want some playing time. So these guys are moving, but it's not a big deal, really. If you don't know, like college football teams have up to 125 players on their roster unlike NFL who have like 53. And so that is less than half of their roster, which it, it really ain't going to put a dent in what they're doing mainly on the field as far as they start. And it goes back to the Montana Lamonius Craig thing we talked about. He's leaving because he's not going to start. He's not going to play. I said it before, but I do want to make this clear. I talked to a lot of these college football guys. I've talked to a lot of guys in the portal. 99.9% .9 of the players that enter the portal is because they're not playing. They want to go to a school where they got an opportunity to start or play a lot. It's as simple as that. And so as you can see there, like, D, like first, Dion already said when he was coming in, there's going to be a lot of players that's already there that's not going to fit the criteria of what he's trying to do. He said he was bringing some luggage with him, and it's going to be Louie. And by that, he was referring to some of the players that he already bringing with him. So that's going to push some other players out. So when he came in, it's already known that a lot of those players that are there are going to leave. And that's what you're seeing here. A lot of those players are leaving. Also, some players came in, and then they figured out, oh, I got here, and then I'm not really, I'm still not going to start. They, they still got people, I ain't going to start in two years from now. I'm going to go and get out of here. You know what I'm saying? And so that's what's happening there. So one of the linemen end up speaking about this whole move and everything. But finally, we get to hear what Deion Sanders had to say, too, about all these players making the move in through the portal. We're going to have people leave. You know, it's only four of us, but that don't matter. We still got to practice harder. We still got to play harder. Tomorrow, that's what we're going to do. We're going to die. So the past couple of weeks, it kind of been like, a lot of players transferring out like at an alarming rate, but mm -hmm. is that a testament to you, you know, switching out your Louis bag for the Walmart bag? Hold on, hold on. He said the Louis bag for the Walmart. <laughs> all right, all right, let's get moving. I didn't kick him out. Hey, what's that? 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 Do you expect more players to come after this whole recruiting practice in the spring game? We got to make some decisions. And that's the bottom line of it. Dion was like, I didn't kick him out. They walked out. They knew when I came here, it was going to be a culture change, a culture shift. If you weren't up to snuff, you were probably going to be have to get up to snuff. And I demand you to be that. So when he came in and he demanded that you get up to snuff, and hey, do what you got to do, because I'm on the phone. If you ain't up to snuff, I'm on the phone recruiting. It's players right now. As soon as Dion got there, it was players transferring right there behind him every two seconds. So the players that's there, I, I'm not worried about what you, uh, 
what what your feelings are about this, what you got going on in your life. I want to know, are you ready to do the work to win? And if you are ready to put in the time that needs to be put in to be the player that elevates to the next level. If you are not ready to do that, then I don't know what to tell you because I got five, six more guys behind you that's hungry to take your spot. And they coming. Louis Vuitton luggage, like he said. He bringing luggage with him, they Louis Vuitton. But see, the thing is about this whole portal, people offering money, this, that, and other players can come here one second and they can go jump and go there. You know, the whole thing is, you know, you recruiting, you warn them, you, you want to get them in. And then once you get them in, you know, it's the real it's the real talk you have to have. Hey, I got you here. I know you're a five-star recruit from whatever state that you was from. You was the best player there. But my man that I already got is killing you. So tell me what you're going to do about that. Because you're not beating him out. Definitely not beating him out this year unless he get injured or something. I don't know. I know you got it. I know you got some dog in you. But you're going to have to show me the dog to take his spot. And then that's where the students be like, you know what? Why don't I just get out of here? I'm just going to take the better path because they're ready to play. And, 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 you, and you really can't be mad at them, you know, for, for, for not wanting to take the longer road. You know, kudos for those who do. I'm not saying either road is the, is the worst road to take. If you take the road and be like, you know what, I got to sit down until I play harder and beat my man out of this position, kudos to you. If you take the road where you be like, you know what, I'm just going to transfer to a school where they got lesser talent and I'm going to be the star and I'm going to try to shine like that. Kudos to you. Everybody got a different path they want to take, a different ideology of what they want to do to make their career happen. You know what I'm saying? I know most college students that that are looking to star, uh, start they they they're not trying to take a back seat necessarily where they going so i know they looking to get as much tape on you know much film and much tape as they can get to show these nfl teams that they ready to ball and get to that next level but the thing is you know sometimes that's the route you got to take sometimes you got to take the back door route you got to sit down and be like yo everybody's better than me I just got to work harder and get through this until I hit the next level. And this is what's happening with Dion. He like, hey, I didn't, I didn't push him out. I didn't cut them. I just said, yo, you are this tier. I'm recruiting. I'm bringing in guys that are this tier. I'm sorry. That's what's calling me. You think I'm going to turn this tier away because you're here and you're already there? No, I'm going to take these guys on, and if you aren't ready to elevate up there, my man, I don't know what to tell you. Somebody going to win that spot. And if you're here and they're here, sayonara, bro. But he actively said he didn't push him out the door. I'm just going to tell you the real. Once you get here, we ain't going to lie. We ain't going to gonna keep it a buck. If you ain't up to snuff by the time it's time to play, you're not starting. You might not even be second string. You know what I'm saying? You might be like the third string rotational guy, and that's what you got to deal with. You got to work through that. We may, we may not need you for real on the field with reps like that till next year or the year after that. And, you know, that's hard for somebody to take when they the clock is ticking. They, they need to get some reps in now. They need to show that they're ready to play right now. So, you know, they're going to move in the transfer portal. But – Essentially, they're bench players. So, we really just trading off the depth of what's going on here. Like we, and depth is important. But you know, got to be real. Like you know, I, I can't be too concerned about my th third string player at every position if I got players that are doing this and they're healthy and they, you know, you got you got to step up to their level. And if you're not ready to step up to the level or you can't play to their level. It's a pecking order to it. If you aren't that good, you don't make it. So they're transferring. But just as quickly as they transfer, they got the Juco thing coming up. It's going to be more players coming in. That's only half of their roster. It's not. It's really nothing to be worried about, like my man Rico said. Like, Prime, I, I, I think he's paying attention to it, but I don't think he's that worried. But 
You tell me what you think. You think do you think is it's, it's crumbling already in Colorado? How it's going? You know, I saw a little clips of the spring game. They look good. You know what I'm saying? So I want to see where it's going. But this is your boy P. Cap. Tell me what you think, what you don't think. Get at your boy.